I don't think it's impossible to fake people going to the moon. I think it'd be very difficult. It would require a lot of people to be on board. But I also think it could be compartmentalized. The people that make the rockets, they, they, you are design, you're, what you're doing is you're making a specific part, and this guy's making another part, and you have the engineers put this thing together, and you launch this thing into space. The people that would have to know are the people that are actually charting the trajectory of uh, the Apollo mission, the people that are actually talking to the astronauts and explaining to them what to say during the press conference, the people that are engineering the whole thing. And you could probably get away with doing something like that with a few hundred people. And you could get a few hundred people of high-ranking people that have top secret clearance to keep their mouth shut. You could. I would just need – I would need some kind yeah. of solid evidence of that to believe that's true. And yeah, me too. Th this to me – there are some things that we call conspiracy theories that I think are you know clearly true. There are some things that we call conspiracy theories that I think are maybe true. Um but there are conspiracy theories that, to me, are just that. They're just, uh, they're just, they're not even theories, really. They're just kind of like fanciful, uh, whatever, proje uh, projections. And the ones that I don't find convincing are where, where, where they, they usually start with, there's a so-called official narrative of a thing that happened. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of things about what actually happened that are kind of weird, and we look at that and go, that's a little bit weird. And then, the, and then the conspiracy theorists, in that case, they come in and they find these little tiny cracks, if you want to call it. And then inside the cracks, they shove this whole like Hollywood cinematic narrative that they have created to explain what's actually like a pretty tiny crack. You don't need this whole thing to explain that. So with the moon thing, I mean, one of the first... Uh, so, so weird aspects of the moon landing that that I think started kind of the conspiracy theories about it was the the flag, the fact that the flag's moving in yep. the picture. And so yeah, it's like when you look at that, you don't really understand. You look at well, that is weird because there's no wind on the moon. But then you understand that okay, if, for example, when you put the the flag down, it creates re reverberations. It makes the flag move. It's going to move for longer because there's no, no gravity. Um, so there's an explanation for that. But if you're the conspiracy theorist, then you take the flag moving and you just let, you're like, nope, the whole thing is bunk. Have you and ever seen the video footage of the astronaut uh, hopping by the flag and the, the, the breeze of him hopping by makes the flag wiggle? He's not, he doesn't touch the flag at all. The flag is completely stationary and the astronaut hops by the flag and as he hops by the flag, the flag wiggles. Okay. Are we saying that wouldn't happen on the moon? No, it wouldn't. There's no air. Yeah, okay. I haven't seen that. I'll we'll no. show it to you. It's weird. Listen, what you're saying is and entirely sure correct. Everything you're saying is entirely reasonable and, and correct if they actually can get through the Van Allen radiation belts. If they can, this is stupid. This whole thing's stupid. But if they can't really do that and they never have done that and the only time they say they've done that is these missions, it gets real weird. And since they haven't done it since then, it gets real weird. And it's not just that. There's other video foot. It's not just the one where the guy's hopping by the flag. It's other ones where it looks like they're on wires, where they're being pulled up, where they fall down, they're being yanked up. The whole thing is weird. There's a lot of weirdness to the footage. The physics don't line up exactly the same. If you go to the early days of uh, the, the like Apollo 11 footage and you look at the difference between when they were playing golf and jumping around the moon, they they're, they move different. They they cover more distance. It's like it looks different. They got better at it. They get better at filming it. They got better at whatever they're doing. And then there's the other question. Maybe they actually did do it, but the cameras weren't able to handle the radiation and the film, which, you know, you, you wouldn't even be able to send your film through the radar detector at the airport back then because it would get fucked up. You'd have to put it aside. Maybe the radiation space fucks up the film, so even though they did do it, they show you recreations or show you these test runs that they did, and they, they film it because the actual film footage is impossible to obtain. That's possible, too. Hasselblad, who made the cameras, didn't put any special protection in these cameras. There was nothing about them that was unusual that would be able to withstand that kind of radiation and that kind of heat of deep space. Yeah. Um, well, Steve, do you have that one where the guy flies walks by the flag and he hops around and it wiggles I, have a, it, I typed that in and it's not really like popping up so i'm not sure which video we definitely have played it before I know, but if you take a look that's what's popping up it's, it's 
not that one, I don't think. Is it? It's not a the plant flag. No, that's not it. What did you write? Astronaut, astronaut flag. flag. Wiggle, moon. Um, type in astronaut hops by flag, flag wiggles. I saw a bunch of videos of people ask, like, making recreations and seeing if this was even possible, but not the video. Astronaut that. hops by causing a breeze to move the flag. Okay, that's it right there. Click on that. That's it. That's the footage. Okay. So watch. So he's going to hop by. Okay. See that? Yeah, but I, he could have hit the flag. Yeah, but he didn't. Look, look at the distance. Look how far away he is from it. Pull it back again. See where he is? So he's in front. He's way in front of that thing. He hops by and the wig it wiggles. I don't know. He's in the suit. The suit's pretty clunky. Oh, yeah, but he's not close to it. Look at the perspective. Let's look at it in slow motion. So watch. He hops by and it just wiggles in the breeze. That's a breeze, dude. So that might not have actually happened on the moon, okay? That might be footage that they filmed in the Nevada desert, and the footage they got on the moon got all fucked up, and so they tried to pass that off on people, and they thought that no one would know. It doesn't necessarily mean we didn't go to the moon, but that does look weird. And it's just not, it it's, not, weird, yeah. it's not one thing. It's, if it was, that was the only thing, you'd be like, oh, well, who knows? But there's a lot of them. He could have also, he could have hit it. I mean, it, it's close. It's possible. Enough. It's close it doesn't enough. look like he hit it. It looks like a breeze. Yeah, but then the other part of this is that they, so what, they, the people that are, went through all this trouble to fake the moon landing, how would they miss these things? That's the other. Well, I don't think they thought people would catch it. First of all, you're dealing with a time where there's no VHS tapes. There's no internet, right? right? So you yeah. show it on television once. You get to choose what gets shown and what doesn't get shown. You film a bunch of shit. That's how they got that footage of them inside the craft filming through that, that circular hole. Because they don't air everything on television, but you have archives. So you have all these archives, and these kooks go through the archives, and they find things like that. Okay, uh, but that doesn't even mean that that was actual moon footage. That could have been some of the training footage. I'll tell you what would convince me to, not that it's a fake, but at least would make me open to it. One thing that would shake my faith considerably in the moon landing, uh, if Elon Musk were to come out and say, yeah, I don't know about this moon landing thing, then okay, fine. Because, and I'm not well, saying this is my whole reason for believing it happened, but Elon Musk, first of all, if the moon landing was fake, he knows it was. He knows it was fake. Sure. Uh, he's the richest man in the world. He's, he's shown zero concern for, you know, propping up official narratives at all. Right. So he's a guy that would know if it's faked, uh, would, there'd be no reason for him to continue that, that narrative if it was fake.